Hello and welcome everybody to the next episode of my Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban let's play. Even it seems we are going right into a Quidditch game, game, so let's go. Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. It's funny how they use the Chamber of Secrets models for the other players and only for Harry they used a uh, the new model. Yeah, we don't actually play Quidditch in this game, we just we will just watch the game and see what happens. We don't even have any commentator for the game. And I don't feel like commentating the Quidditch game. Okay, now we see a scary 2D sprite of the Mentors. That was dramatic. Harry came away from the fall without injury, but he resolved to confront his fear of the Dementors. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-Dementor lessons. He asked Lupin about Sirius Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We'd better get on with your anti-Dementor lessons, Harry. Now, we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with a Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Is he talking quite fast? Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Right, let's give it a try. We will try Expecto, Expecto Patronum. Two more like that and you're ready Expecto to move on. Okay, two more. Just one Expecto more. Patronum. Fantastic. Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Okay, let's go to Explore Professor Lupin's secret dungeon. And be ready to use the Patronus charm on a bucket. Could there be any secret? Apart from beans and pumpkin pasties? I don't think there are. But we have a we have spider in here. Okay, why would you have a, such a big spider in such a small cage? I don't think Lupin has it as a pet. So what could be the reason? But anyway, let's save and let's fight the Boggarts. Oh, a Dementor! No, Harry, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Okay, so let's defeat the Dementor lookalike. It yeah, was quite easy. When there is more than one Dementor, or in this case, Boggart, the creature's presence will likely keep it. Cast a perfect Patronus of the Boggart to disable it. Take the Make perfect casts at each Boggart in the end, before the spell has time to wear off, to defeat the creatures. Okay, two more to go. Okay, is that it? It would seem you've mastered the spell. Brilliant! Oh, and there's a collector's card too! And okay, we got a visiting card as a reward. Okay. And it seemed Professor Lupin just did what Voldemort could not. And he just killed Harry by this convenient place trap. I don't think Harry would survive that. But then again, he survived the fall on the Quidditch pitch. Well done indeed. Please forgive the trapdoor and so forth. 
It was necessary to see how you do if the Dementors took you by surprise. Yeah, sure, it was you necessary to fall Thank down you, this big pit by Dementors. After the anti-Dementor lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat's hair! Orange cat's hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard! They're going to execute Buckbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There must be something we can do! An appeal! An appeal! That's it! I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along, but I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshank's got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right, but let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? Okay, so we are in the library. Let's fight these books, and then we will have to go to the legal section, section, which is locked up for some reason. Like if it was some uh, restricted section. But I guess uh, that Hogwarts just uh, don't want to teach any lawyers. Yeah, I mean, if Wizarding World is if Wizarding World had lawyers, I think that Hogwarts would be in quite a big trouble. I mean, there is almost every year a threat of a student dying. I mean, one time there is a Voldemort trying to steal the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone. Next time there is a big deadly snake trying to kill every every Muggleborn, and in the in the first game book or movie which we are playing right now, we have a murderer which is trying to get to the school to kill one of the students, or at least that's what everyone thinks. And you also have these Dementors, which almost killed a student on a Quidditch pitch. So we, uh, I, I don't think Hogwarts would like to have any lawyers trying to get on top of these issues or incidents, I would say. We'll shout if Madame Pint shows up. Okay, so it seems that we are splitting up from everyone else. We will save the game. And we will find this legal book, which is, of, I think, conveniently placed right there on the pedestal. Okay, and imps in the library. I don't think they work here. Let's fight them. Okay, three more to go. Okay. Oh, I thought it fell already on the ground, so I thought I could grab it. And that's it. And now we will turn into a dragon after I collect this chest. And we will play with the fire in a library, which I'm sure is a great idea. Surely there isn't any fire risk between all these book filled with paper uh, paper pages. Surely nothing can happen. Okay, so in fact nothing happened. We just lit the fireplace. And now we can collect the book. anything that could help us with Buckbeak's defense. Yes, and I've already dropped the book off at Hagrid's. How could she? 
How'd you do that? We only just left you. Well, um, I took a shortcut. Come on, we don't want to be late for Charms Pass. It's right over there. Eee! Get these horrid things away from me! Run! It's completely bad! Oh no! Maybe we'd better have a look. Um, don't we have Charms Class now? Yes, but I think we have time to teach that thing a lesson. Whatever it is. It's up to you, Harry. You know what? I think we should go to the charm class. And I will visit this in one of the final episodes. And we will fight the monster book of monsters. In there and we will collect all the cards from it. If we want to see what's behind this portrait, we'll have to buy the password from Hi, you Yeah, right now I will just go to the charms class. class. See you there. Hello, class. I'm Professor Flitwick. Welcome to Charms. Today, we will learn a very useful freezing charm called Glacius. Let's see. Who would like to demonstrate? Harry Potter. Just the fellow. Just the fellow. If you'd like to step through this door, we can begin the Glacius challenge. Well, last last year's only Harry was doing these challenges. Now they upgraded it and also Ron and Hermione does it. But it seems other students still won't get any chances. Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. Hmm, if this is Amazonian salamander. Wouldn't there be a lot of forest fire in the Amazonian forest? I mean, the creature is constantly on fire. Surely it would be quite dangerous. Mm, but anyway, it was quite easy to defeat that. See if you can use the glacier spell to freeze this flowing water. Oh, but maybe they are not on fire. Excellent. Maybe only in this class they were on fire. Here's the best bit, Harry. Time to go for a slide. Just use the left and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Off you go. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. Okay, we will be sliding here. Did not expect that. Or I mean, I wouldn't expect to have uh, big slides in the Hogwarts. And I would wonder where are even placed these slides. I mean, surely th there isn't so much space for them. Okay. But I won't be complaining. Let's just defeat these salamanders. Yeah, I think we will go to another slide. Uh, but first I will defeat these imps. If he will be willing to throw a cracker on me. And he was quite kind. Okay, so we got two chocolate frogs. Uh, they are, I would say, too generous with the chocolate frogs in this game. I can't imagine how I could lose all this health when I have uh, all these chocolate frogs, but the reason I'm still in the pause menu, I just wanted to check if we still need to collect 10 shields and how many secrets are here. So yes, the answer is we need to collect the 10 shields and we just did collect the second one. And we should also keep a look on these secret rooms, we just found two and three more are remaining. So let's just slide down here. I wonder where it is. It it looks a little bit like the place where was the Philosopher's Stone hidden in the first game also. It was under the school and it was this big open place where you have a platform to jump around. And it looks quite similar to that. Okay, let's defeat those Ixies. 
just four of them and we can continue but we will go down as there is a secret and i hope it's another shield and it seems like it is but how should i grab it Ah, okay, so Spongify platform appeared. Now we can jump there. I wonder why this just closed. Okay, so four shields we have. And it was a short slide and I see another shield. Okay, so they completely freeze if you stun them. Okay, they can still hurt you. But as you can see, they will give you only so so little damage. So that's why I wonder why I would need so many chocolate frogs when they barely hurt me. Okay, but we have another shield. Four more to collect and then the final big shield. There's so many beings. Why can't they just throw them all? Okay, let's save. And let's fall. And you see, if you fell in the previous games, you would have to restart uh, from the last save point. But in this game, you are pretty much... Um, well, you are pretty much invincible. They will just teleport you back. And they will only took so little help from you. I mean, I don't mind, it's it's not a problem, it's a Harry Potter game, it's mostly game for kids, but the first two games were more challenging and they weren't still, they, they still were pretty easy, so I think the previous games were just balanced better. But it's still a pretty fun game, although I heard, or not that I heard, I already played this game, but I remember that this game was quite short I don't know if I remember it correctly but I think you just went through the classes and then all the stuff that happened in the story happened in the end of the game and everything happened so quickly and now I just seen and now it just seen that I'm hating on this game but that's not true I I enjoy this game very much, it's one of my favorite games, as it is a Harry Potter game. Uh, but yeah, it it has its flaws. Okay, now we should go here. Let's fight another salamander. Let's grab another chocolate frog, which we don't need. And let's jump here. And we have our 15th Visibling card. Now we can continue, I think, through, through here, maybe. Okay, let's go fight these ants. Okay. Oh, I so hoped that it would kill also this, the last one. And another wave, okay, so another four of these, let's defeat them. Okay, another shield, hopefully I won't miss it. Okay, we need to find... Why didn't open? Okay, we need to find two more small shields and then just a big shield but i'm worried that uh, one of the shields will be again on this slide and there will be some split like last time and i will miss it only because i will pick the wrong way and i can't obviously know in advance where the shield will be and this is exactly it. there is a split and i hope but there is a shield on this side because if it's on other side then yeah okay it was on this side but if if i pick the second uh, second slide the second side i mean 
I would just miss this shield and I wouldn't even know it was there. But that's quite silly, I would say, because you are trying to collect all those shields, the game will tell you collect all these shields. Uh, but then uh, they won't tell you or they will make a split and it's 50-50 if you encounter the shield or not because you cannot know where the shield is. Uh, but that's only in this level. I think in the other levels it's quite straightforward where the shields are. Or I mean there are. There aren't anyways. How could you miss them except for this level? And maybe also for the second Glacius level. Because there will be a second one. Uh, where we need to do our final exams and we will have to do... Uh, oh, this is also not good. And okay, I just missed one of the shields. Maybe if I fall down. Okay, so that was quite bad. Maybe if I... Yeah, so I cannot go back there. The shield was just moving. Okay, we are missing one of the shields. I will have to return here and I will have to pick the shield. I will do it probably off the camera. In the in one of the last episodes, we get the bonus room. It's a shame, really, that they put two of these shields on the slide. So, how was it? You can freeze things now. I could slide everywhere. Oh, wicked! And salamanders the size of Hagrid. The blue or the scarlet variety. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. You can have another go at the Glacier's Challenge if you want, Harry. Or we can come back later. Well, I will definitely not be doing that now. Let's just continue. Despite the dangerous visitor lurking around Hogwarts, Harry insisted on going to visit Hagrid. He was anxious to hear the outcome of Buckbeak's trial. Was that? I think it was. Poor Buckbeak! Poor Hagrid. They've carried out the execution. Look! It's Scabbers! You see, Ron? Crookshanks was innocent! But as just as I was saying, the game is quite short. We are on already here in front of a bumping willow where serious attacks run and scabbers. Uh, but we are just in the third episode, and this is already happening. I think it took us almost like nine or ten episodes in the last game to get uh, to the Chamber of Secrets. But here it's it's much faster. Where does this tunnel come out? I don't know, but we've got to help Ron. But anyway, I think this would be it for this episode and we will leave the Shrieking Shack for the next episode. So if you enjoyed this, you can leave a like. If you have any feedback, as always, you can leave a comment. I thank you again. I will see you in the next episode and goodbye.